What's up, you fancy freak shows, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host, as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have a fantastic Indonesian uh, slasher ripoff from the 80s, 1981 to be specific. It is Siswaro Guatama Putra's uh, just outstandingly strange flick. It is Srigala, and this one is just fan freaking friend fan freaking tastic just really out there a crazy friday the 13th ripoff that's a whole lot of fun and i can't wait to show it off so let's jump right in here is srigala Srigala, a.k.a. Wolf, is a strange and unusual Indonesian horror thriller, which is pretty much the country's answer to the first Friday the 13th movie, which came out the year prior. Filled with atmosphere and off-kilter comedic moments, this weird production takes most of the slasher tropes that you'd come to expect from the genre and era, and makes its own unique spin on the morbid subject matter. Peculiar, bloody, and completely bizarre, Srigala aka Wolf is an interesting cinematic experience that takes the Friday the 13th formula and spices it up with a little Indonesia flavor. Filled with laughs, strange occurrences, and wild gory mayhem aplenty. The film follows three campers Nina, Pomo, and Hesti, and three treasure hunters Johan, Tommy, and Karoko who all get mixed up in a revenge-fueled killer's sick and twisted plans at a secluded lake getaway. Isolated in the middle of nowhere and hunted by a crazed and unseen killer, can the group learn to work together and fight back against this relentless foe, or will they all be knocked off one by one until the bloodlust of this elusive assailant is finally quenched? In true slasher fashion and in early 80s style, the cast is all over the place playing the typical characters that we have now come to expect from the genre, and they all perform in that over-the-top style that Indonesia films are traditionally known for, especially when mimicking their American counterparts. From run-of-the-mill nerds, foxy ladies, and charismatic heroes, the cast runs the gamut of familiar roles, and they all do a fantastic job in their respective departments. The main maniacs primed for the meat grinder and horned up teen victims lined up for the kill are Lydia Kendo as Nina, a beautiful and kind-hearted young woman who finds herself in a fight or flight situation. Barry Prima as Tommy, a fresh-faced fortune seeker who's got the hots for Nina. Siska Widowati as Hesti, a sassy and sexy hussy whose relaxing vacation turns out to be a total nightmare. Rudy Salam as Johan, a mustache-sporting treasure hunter and self-proclaimed lady killer. Dorman Boris Mon as Pono, a cowardly nerd whose third-wheel antics are undeniably legendary. And finally, Esparia as Caraco, a crotchety treasure hound and complete wet blanket when it comes to fun. From top to bottom, the players of this wild flick are perfectly in sync with the strange material of the film, and they all do a stupendous job in livening up the experience of this weird Friday the 13th ripoff. As far as slasher films go, Indonesia's efforts with Srigala are a commendable stab at the genre. Its picture-perfect locations and extremely potent atmosphere are both top-notch and delightfully engrossing matching the tone and feel of the Friday the 13th and other films of its ilk. The bloodletting is also exceptionally well done, though not as rampant as it is in other slasher films, thanks to the fairly low numbers of characters within its story. Done practical and unapologetic in its brutality, the effects do their job wonderfully, and the filmmakers make good use of the kills with some rather inventive methods put into play for the gore hounds to relish in. Aside from the horror elements of the film, the injected comedic moments and strangeness of the plot is also an added bonus to this strange little flick. From action-packed boat chases, to impromptu martial arts fight sequences, to comic relief set pieces, the film is all over the place in tone, genre, and unpredictability, making it one hell of an entertaining experience that you truly don't know what will happen next. That is, until the shot-for-shot -shot conclusion that pretty much is ripped right out of the first Friday the 13th playbook. It's a weird film to say the least, 
coming off as more of a satire of the genre than a full-blown horror slash production. And I think that's one of the most appealing aspects of the movie. It's chaotic, silly, visually pleasing, and above all, entertaining. And that's all you really need in an early 80s Indonesian horror ripoff. In the end, Srigala, aka Wolf, is a jaw-dropping watch and a bizarre experience that will slash its way right into your slasher-loving heart. And there you have it, you masochistic maniacs. That is the fantastic Friday the 13th ripoff. That is Srigala. Just very, very fascinating. A very strange look at it, a kind of Americanized slasher. Uh, definitely goes and does its own thing, but um, does it in fanta with re fantastic results and just a really entertaining film in general and one that I really enjoyed and got a kick out of. But I hope you like that one and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. But until then, I will see you all at the next movie review. Take care.